Alright, um, this video is discussing plot and it should be used to help you complete your homework assignment on the plot roller coaster based on the little short story that was given to you today for homework. Um, you should also have with you your reading and writing notebook since most of your notes, most of your information should be on the notebook pages. So plot, what is plot? Pretty much, plot is all the events that happen in the story, all the different little things that our characters do and say that are going to make up the um, entire story. Whether it's a quest, and this is when a character goes on a long journey in search of somebody, or something, or a challenge where the character has to perform a difficult task. All the events that are going to fulfill the quest or the challenge, that's what's going to be the plot. In class, we talked about a couple of elements of plot. Remember, we have the exposition, which is just a fancy way of saying the beginning. We also have the rising action, and those are the events that are going to lead up to the conflict. And then the conflict is a problem the main character must solve. All stories, if they are fiction stories, there must be some kind of conflict that the main character needs to face. Then we have the climax, and that is just the most important point of our story. This is where our main character already knows what problem he has to take care of. Everything is going wrong or going against the main character, and the character has to make a decision. And that's what leads us to the resolution. The resolution is um, the decisions and the events and what the character does in order to resolve the conflict, in order to solve the problem. And then finally, we have the end of our story where everything gets wrapped up and closed so that our characters can then, in like a fiction story, have a happy ending. In your notebooks, um, we went ahead and we glued down this roller coaster um, to just kind of depict and show all the different elements of plot. If you see at the very beginning, uh, we've got beginning, and remember that is also known as the exposition. Um, as we go up our roller coaster, we come across to the rising action. These are going to be all the events that are going to lead up to our conflict, and conflict is just the problem our character faces and then we keep riding our roller coaster to the climax all those events that are going to kind of show us the main decision that the character is going to show from there our story starts going downhill we're starting to see how our story is wrapping up we're seeing the resolution how the story is going to be resolving our problem how the character's decisions the character's actions until we finally reach the end of our story where the character has resolved the problem they have learned something and we are actually faced with what we know as the happy ending of our story so let's take a closer look at some elements of plot this is all review of things that we covered in class um, i am showing you what we normally call a plot mountain it has a lot more detailed instructions on here definitely use these different slides to help you complete your plot roller coaster that you're doing on your passage um, for homework tonight so first off, we have the exposition. Remember, this is the situation is being set up for us. We are finding out what is taking place here. Um, we're getting our background information. So we're learning about the character, um, the, their background. If they're a boy or girl, we're learning about all these character qualities, whether they're a main character or secondary character. We're also being introduced to the setting. Where is our story taking place? When is it taking place? And then we're getting kind of a little bit of a glimpse of the conflict of what the problem might be. And it all depends on the type of story that you're working with. All right, then we um, start getting introduced to the conflict. And remember, this is going to be the problem that our main character has to face. Um, in literature, we call it a struggle between two opposing forces, so things that are at odds. Um, 
So this is where we're going to find out what is the problem that needs to be fixed in the story. Um, and any complications. Um, is there a character who is going to be getting in the way of our main character from receiving um, or any help or actually being able to solve this problem? All right, along with the conflict, we talked in class how our main character is going to face some opposition. It's going to face some conflict. It can be the character versus another character. Um, it could be the character versus society, a group of people that are against them. Um, the character versus nature, where maybe they're out in the woods and the weather or things happening um, around him are taking place that are creating the problem for him or maybe it's a character against themselves where they're facing a problem where it's just really their heart that needs to change and there are a couple of other ones listed here but for this particular story that you're completing for homework you don't really need to worry about these alrighty so sometimes it all depends on the story sometimes the very beginning of our story, the exposition and the conflict are at the very, very same moment in time happening. This is very unusual, especially in the stories that we will read as fourth graders, but it can happen. So you may actually come across this um, as you are doing your read to self in class. All right, next we have the rising action. These are all the events that are going to build up to the high point of the climax. These are all the events that are going to lead up to that main part of our story. So our conflict or our problem is going to get worse. This is where all the plot twists happen. Maybe you thought a character was a good character and all of a sudden um, they're a spy or maybe now they become a suspect. Um, we're going to see other characters get in the way of the main character resolving their problem. And the solution to the problem seems more and more unlikely. It seems like it's going to be more difficult um, for our main character to actually resolve the problem. Then we have the climax of our story, and this is what we say that is the turning point. This is where it becomes clear how this conflict is going to turn out. This is going to be the most intense, the most dramatic part of our story. Um, sometimes it might even seem like the story has lost all hope. This is where we're really going to start seeing the character, the main characters, make some serious decisions on how to solve their problem. Alrighty, and then we have the falling action. This is where all the events that are going to follow the climax, this is where all of our problems are going to re be resolved. We're going to start seeing actions and decisions made by our main characters that are going to bring us some solution. Um, everything that the author has built up all of a sudden is going to be begin wrapping up. This is where our author is going to be sharing all the information that we need so that he can begin closing up his story, giving us some kind of closure as we wrap up our reading of our novel or our short story or our reading passages. And then finally we have the resolution um, where we actually get a hold of how the story is resolved. We see how all the problems were fixed. Our character um, has some kind of peace. Everything has been returned to the way it is supposed to be in the story. Kind of like what we know in fairy tales as the happy ending. All right, again, this is the little slide that we have um, in our notebooks. Remember, resolution, where our, our problem is resolved. Climax, where everything seems that all hope has been lost. Conflict is our problem. Rising action, those are all the events that are going to lead us to the main problem. And then beginning, remember, we can call this our exposition. And then finally, the end, which we all know this is where our author wraps it up. So this is the template that you are to complete tonight to go along with a little passage. Now, the passage that you have is not a long passage. 
Now there may be some areas here that you may not complete to the entirety and that is perfectly fine. So if you're unsure about a piece in our story, you leave that section of our diagram in blank because when we go over it together, we will discuss as a class what should actually be filled out. So please make sure that you fill in the title. If your passage has the name of the author, please include it. If it does not have the name of the author, you can leave that in blank and I'll share the name of the author with you in class. Um, you will also see that we have a section here for the exposition. I was very, very detailed in how I sorted it. So I want you to share some of our main characters in this um, the passage. It could be one or two. Um, I want you to share the setting. Remember at the very beginning of our story, they're going to tell us when and where our story took place. And you've got pages in your reading and writing notebook that explain characters and setting. Please use those as you start filling this out inciting incident. So what is one thing that you can see and might become a problem or might lead to the problem in our story? So write that down. Point of view, who's doing the talking? Do we have a character narrating the story? Um, do we have a separate narrator that's sharing all the information? Try and see if you can figure this one out. Um, then we've got the area that it shows that is the rising action and it's building up. Then we have the climax. What do you see? What event do you see in this passage that you think it's like the turning point where the character thinks and seems to him or her that there is really no hope in resolving any of this? Then we've got our falling action. Remember, those are all the events um, that are going to lead to the resolution. Um, decisions, things that happen in the story, and then finally the resolution. How does the story solve the problem? What does the character do to solve the problem? Now this little circle right here where it says conflict, I want you to leave that alone. We want to go ahead and do that one together as a class. We'll share and discuss what type of conflict do we see happening in our story? Is this a character versus character? Um, a character versus himself or herself? Character versus nature? We'll discuss that one together. Please use your reading and writing notebook to complete these sections. All your notes are there. Um, and again, like I said, anything that you're a little confused on or you're unsure in your story, where to fill it out, you are welcome to leave it blank. And when we discuss about this together, then we can go ahead and get that information filled out. I hope this video helps you as you complete your homework assignment.